So this is a kind of standard exam question on redox titration. It wants me to find x. So a student weighed out 2.950 grams of unhydrated iron 2 salt. We need to find this here. How many water crystallizations did it have? So we dissolved it in 50 centimeters cubed of sulfuric acid. Why did we use sulfuric acid initially? Why do you think we need to dissolve it? There's two reasons. When do we need acid? We need acid to get it to work. When we talked, I think, talked a little bit about having acid stabilizes it, because otherwise it's going to start oxidizing to Fe3+, plus, which wouldn't be good. Anyway, um, put it into a volumetric flask and made it up to the mark of distilled water. We then took 25 centimeters cubed of this solution and did a titration with potassium manganate and we needed 21.20 centimetres cubed of this. There's the equation. What's the first thing we always do? We always find the moles of something. What can we find the moles of? Family, family. Yeah, which we know is going to be concentration times volume over a thousand. So, my concentration is 0 0.100. The volume I use 21.20 over a thousand. And that equals 2.12 times 10 to the minus 4. Okay, once we've got that, what are we going to now do? What do we need to relate that to? Right. What have I done? Is that 10 to minus 3? Have I put the wrong concentration down? Yeah. Uh, sorry, that should be 0 0.01. Okay. Otherwise, it's going to get to a crazy answer. Okay. Times 21.2 divided by 1,000. And that gives me. 2.12 times 10 to minus 4. I then now need to relate it to... Well, I found the moles of that. I need to relate it to the moles of Fe2+. plus. How am I going to do that? Yeah, I need to times it by 5, because one of those, we actually find all those. So it's 5 times 2.12 times 10 to the minus 4 which gives me 1.06 times 10 to the minus three moles. That was in, what volume was that in? That was in 25. What was the original? 250, so what do I need to do that to find the moles? Yeah, so moles of Fe2 plus in 250 is going to equal 10 times 1.06 times 10 to the minus 3, which, strangely enough, equals 0 0.0106. That's that. Okay, so I've got moles, I've got mass, I can find molar mass, yep, so molar mass is equal to mass over moles, which is 2.950 over 0 0.0106, so let's do that, 2.950. That gives me 278.3. I've got my molar mass. I want to find X. So from that, I need to remove my iron, sulfur, and oxygen. So it's 278.3 minus iron, which is 55.8. Minus sulfur 32.1 and minus 4 times 16 for oxygen. So minus 55.8, 32.1 and 4.16. 
4 times 16. That gives me 126.4. So all my waters add up to 126.4. How can I find x? Yeah, cool. So I know that XH2O equals 126.4. Each water has a molar mass of 18. So X equals 126.4 over 18, which equals 7. Uh, because I can relate it to this equation. And then for every one, there's in one of these, there's one Fe2 plus. Um, yeah, so I could, if I've got 10 moles of Fe2 plus, I've got 10 moles of FeSO4XH2O, because it's related to that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You, you should know that, boy. Yeah. So this is another type of question you can expect to get. So it's not going to be a straightforward titration calculation at A2. And it will never be, they're not, they're not going to talk you through it either. This is it. So they give me three grams of lawn sand contains Fe2 plus ions. We dissolved it in sulfuric acid. The resulting solution required 25 centimeters cubed of potassium manganate solution at that concentration. And I need to calculate the percentage mass of Fe2 plus. So what's the first thing I always do? Oh. 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 I, well, I need the equation. So the manganate from the Plus 8H plus plus 5 Fe2 plus goes to 5 Fe3 plus plus Ma2 plus plus 4 H2O. Right, so moles of Ma over minus is concentration times volume over a thousand. Concentration is 0 0.0200. My volume is 25.00 over a thousand. 0 0.0005. 0 0.005. Brilliant, thank you. So I've got that, then what do I need to do? Moles of Fe, so times by 5. Brilliant. 0 0.0025. Moles of Fe2 plus is 5 times that, which is 0 0.0025. 0 0025. Fantastic. They want percentage of mass. So convert it into mass. Times moles times by, MR. Yeah. So it's going to equal 0 0.0025 times 55.8 0 0.1395 Sorry, what? Grams? Grams, yeah. Sorry. And then you put it Every over the 3 grams and the Sorry, percentage mass. Yeah, and our percentage mass is my 0 0.1395 grams over the 3 grams of the origin of the whole sample uh, 4.65? Oh, and times, oh, times by 100. 100. Yeah, it's so well. 4.65. 65. Thrilled. Sorted. I think you might know it off my head. Okay, so another one calculating X in FeSO4, XH2O. They told me I've got 12.18 grams of this in 500 centimeters cubed of sulfuric acid. 25 centimeters cubed of this solution. Require 43.85 of 0 0.01 mole per decimeter cubed potassium and manganate. So, first thing I do is, well, let's write the equation that we all know. <laughs> yeah. Right, so. First thing, moles of MnO4 minus equals 43.85 times 0.01 over a thousand. Uh, 43.85 <laughs> one divided by a thousand. That gives me 4.0, oh, 4.3. 
Hey, Tori, everybody happy so far? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, wait a minute, sorry, yeah. 0.002. 4.83.85. Right, well, how do I now convert that into moles of Fe2 plus? Yeah. Times that by five. So times by five, that gives me 0 0.00219. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was that in? That was in 20 centimeters cubed. But what was the original solution? No, it was in 25. Moles of Fe2 plus in 500. And that was in that was 25. 25, not 20. Oh. So what well, do I need to times that by? 20. 20. Yep, yeah, times that by 20. That gives me 0 0.04385. Mm -hmm. Then what do I do? Mass. Yeah, so uh, molar mass is mass over moles. The mass they told me was 12.18 grams over that. Uh, so that comes to, has anybody got that far? Oh yeah, um, 277.76518. 0.7. Okay, then what do I need to do? I need to find x, so I need to take away Molar mass of yeah, so FeSO4. 277.7 minus iron, which is 55.8, minus sulfur, which is 32.1, minus 4 times 16 for the oxygens. Let's do that. 277.7 minus 55.8, minus 32.1, minus 64. Yep, 125.8. So that 125.8 is x H2O. So how can I find x? Divide by 18. Bad. So 125.8 divided by 18 equals 7. Which I think is what we got last time. Yeah,